Hi, this is a demonstration of uh, elastic search machine learning multimetric job. Um, so the setup of this particular data set uh, and a single metrics job uh, is shown in the previous video. So this is a continuation of the previous video wherein uh, uh, we have taken one particular server metrics and we have seen a single metrics job with the response max response time so to find more insights uh, this is a demonstration on the multimetrics job so pl please go and see my previous video to uh, make sure that you understand fully this particular video so here uh, I'll be creating a new job which is a multimetrics job of the particular uh, server data set which we have uploaded so in my previous uh, video what we had seen is we had seen the response of uh, max response uh, and we saw an anomaly so to see more insights what we can do is we can see the total max uh, of the same thing the two metrics and uh, we have something called as a split data this uh, split data is the one where we can uh, select different types of uh, um, or do a parallel processing of the services or the hosts or the index whatever I select from this particular drop down so I'm uh, selecting the service nothing but the apps so one two three four five six apps the split data and you can f see that the key fields so these are the influences wherein when I select the service so one service get automatically selected and uh, along with the service I have a doubt that even the host will add to the anomaly which we saw so I'm selecting the host that is the server one two three four as one influencer and the service which is nothing but the applications one to six as one more influencer and the field I'm selecting is the response and the total uh, and the aggregation is max so I'm uh, giving a name multiple server as a name and I'll create this particular job so as we can see here the machine learning has started uh, learning the data and are doing a parallel uh, analysis on all the services as I'm using the split data as a service nothing but the all for six applications so we'll just wait till this particular uh, learning completes and then we can see the results and I will tell you how uh, easy it is to see the results from single matrix job and multi matrix job and the correlation of each other to pinpoint a problem or an anomaly which has uh, happened. So this is uh, about to complete. Okay, I think this machine learning has completed. So I'm clicking on view results and uh, this is the anomaly explorer of multiple servers and simultaneously what I'll do is from previous uh, single matrix job I'll select the single max response time so that we can have side by side uh, analysis so in the single max response what we saw in the previous video here we can see that on April 9th 2300 hours we saw an anomaly of max and uh, we we came to know that there is an anomaly but we don't have much details in a single matrix job that uh, the probability so and so actual should be there uh, and typical is there but uh, i'm not able to pinpoint what is the problem so here if you see uh, this is the single matrix and now i have created a multiple server so i have clicked this particular uh, anomaly with the same time if you if you if you can see here this is the same april 9 2300 hours here if you see the anomaly is shown as in service app 6 and somewhat in service app 5 and uh, rest all looks pretty much okay so we don't have uh, much anomalies so here if you see uh, the host 2 and app server 6 has some problem so here we can come to a conclusion that uh, a particular app 
6 running on server 2 has created a problem and the second uh, uh, what do you say anomaly also looks similar and we have one more wherein the app 5 running on server 3 also has a problem so we have two particular apps and two particular servers server 2 and server 3 in this case and app 5 and app 6 in this case so if you if you want to pinpoint more here we have a drop down called as job id which i am seeing and uh, since we had selected two particular influences we can go for a host and check which particular host so we have server 1 2 3 uh, here we can see that with the same time timing servers had some problem server 2 had a problem with app 6 so this we are seeing in with respect to server 2 and same with respect to server 1 we can see what is the anomaly and server 2 the same okay so uh, if you want to see from the perspective of service which is what are the apps which were running that also can be done so here with the app 6 whatever I have seen so this looks there is an anomaly and uh, with the app 4 also there are anomalies so with this multimetrix job having two or more influences we can have more insights than a single matrix job so uh, you, you you can even view the single matrix job so it is telling that only one job can be viewed at this dashboard so uh, in the previous video however we have seen how the single max response looks like and uh, we see this particular uh, anomaly and the same thing with the single matrix job if I select the multiple server which we just created and uh, we can see the same anomaly with two influences so here we have a uh, column called influenced by so the the maximum one the 9th april 2300 uh, anomaly is caused by the host 2 and app 6 so this gives me more information on where the problem is and how it can be uh, mitigated in future and uh, worked upon and uh, here since I had done a split of service this value also can be selected for example I have done a split of service and uh, if I want more details on app 6 I can just select app 6 and run it uh, here whatever we see is only related to app 6 so here app 6 is common with other servers playing at different timings Okay, so, so this is how you can even split by uh, whichever apps you feel may be uh, causing a problem and uh, look at more anomalies. So uh, I hope uh, this video is helpful. Uh, thanks for watching this video.